I choose mage as my first pick. Okay. Uh, what are your two? <laughs> this tournament has strange rules, so I completely understand the confusion. Oh, shaman mage. Okay. So, shaman mage. Uh, warrior shaman. Sure. I ended up with the same three anyway. Warrior shaman would be a pretty good deck. Can you imagine a Nazoth first mate and an aggro shaman? You can replace those, uh... Oh, Prist! What? OP OP! Go, go! Okay, go, go! I understand. The light shall bring victory. This is a good start. Uh, Dragon Warrior is supposedly favored against Dragon Priest. And I want to keep Finley. Yeah, he's a good board control guy. It means uh, Curator will draw one fewer card. But I'm pretty sure that's a really dumb reason for not keeping Finley. Though I could make the argument that Finley actually isn't impactful enough in the early game. Against the Priest. Thinking about whether or not to hit the hook into his whelp. I think the answer is no, but it's really close. It's a very fancy card back he has. It's the uh, it's for participating in a major Hearthstone championship or something. Someday I'll have that card back. I have to risk the Guardian into Shadowward Fane. I don't really want to, but. Pain will be uh, pretty painful, but sometimes they don't have it. Alright, he doesn't have it. Interesting, Twilight Drake. Is he playing Twilight Drake in a dragon deck, or is he playing Reno Priest? And it is quite a puzzle. For the life binder. Hmm, cleared this, I think. For the dragon queen. That was a fairly close call. I wield the power. That turned out really good for me. Without the clear, it would have uh, been pretty tough to deal with this thing. And I'll do this. A little bit too ambitious to hit him in the face, I think, there. Reno Priest or Dragon Priest? Reno Priest or Dragon Priest? When is it? Probably shouldn't have hit him in the face for that one, since a uh, small time buccaneer likes weapons. But then again, dealing one damage to have the flexibility of putting him lower for the Crusher is also good. And then again, it's also a question of do I even play Crusher, because that deck usually runs two deaths if it's Dragon. Zagus? I like Guardian. Kinda sick thing, because I still don't know if it's Reno or if it's uh Did 
play around excavate evil by using the champion here. I think that's actually worth. For the life binder. For the dragon queen. And there's the mistake by attacking it, means I lose my 1-1 one, one here. But I need to hold the weapon for the buccaneer. If I had traded this into that, then this could survive Holy Nova. But I don't know if it's Holy Nova or if it's Excavated Evil. Once upon a time. Okay, so it is Dragon Priest. So, it's not Excavated Evil. It's either Holy Nova or uh, Dragonfire Potion. If your own's Dragonfire Potion, Dragonfire Potion is a terrible card against this deck. It does mean he might have two deaths, so this Dragonite Crusher could be terrible. Uh, so Dragonite Crusher is going to be one of the last cards I play, unless I'm trying to bait out the death for Ragnaros. Quickly. I wield the power of the Lethal. Sometimes. Come on, one time. Oh. So good. I wield the power. Dragon Priest, play that deck a lot. Their main problem is inability to come back from the board, so pretty rough. Good tempo pick. This is a really high variance card coming up. And this is a high variance uh, totem roll coming up. Always heal. Wait, you can't take this thing back out? These consequences are pro so permanent. I wonder what he could possibly have to make him think about not fire blasting there. I could probably come up with some guesses. I mean, Arcane Blast Coin 3 Drop was an option, I suppose. Alright. I'd like to not overload so I can play Miss Aya Blackpaw next turn. Yeah, Miss Aya Blackpaw. If I went Totem Golem, it would like lock in my next turn as Flame Tongue Totem Totem or Lava Burst Totem. This isn't bad, but doesn't seem great. Oh, love, love. I overload for three, and next turn I'll have four. Enough for Jade Lightning. I think it's great to play this while he possibly doesn't have an answer. This is really good against the two cards he has. Land switch! Nia isn't that strong yet. That looks like a setup for Flame Strike. Or a Volcanic Potion. 
Why didn't I flame tongue totem there? Hmm. Maybe I should have. It does kill both those guys. It was definitely worth considering. I'm surprised I didn't consider it. I saw the amount of mana I needed next turn, and it was four, and it was like, okay, let me overload for one more. It's really mana efficient to do so. And cost potion. Kill two to all, gain four. Perfect draw. This deck has a little bit more late game since I have two Azure Drakes in it now. The end is coming. I have to lava burst that. Strike goodness. Mm -mm. Fast as spell. We for vengeance. Oh, destroyed. Oh my god. My 4-4. Four, four. My card. Ruined. the mind game of uh, doing mage in the shaman instead of mage in the priest so I think the match is basically decided with this one I mean it's not decided you can always make a comeback but if I win this one I have a very high chance of winning the match if he wins this one he has a very high chance of winning the match and obviously you'd have a very high chance because it's like two on one but I'd say it's like higher than 75% chance of winning Feels wrong to coin Doomsayer when I don't have anything else. Thinking through his turn too, huh? Little time. Did he have another option? He must have had the another option. I have to imagine it was between that and like Odom Claws? Not Jade Claws. I don't actually want to play Dirty Rat next. Well, at Battle Cry, I want to double. Who goes there? I'm a now. He's definitely thinking about whether or not the Jade Claws. Apparently, what he was thinking about on turn two. Got the Blizzard on the possibly turn five. Blizzard Flame Strike is pretty strong. I play Dirty Rat here. You must have been thinking whether or not to play around mind control tech. So thoughtful. Maybe it was just whether or not to play uh, 
Doctor Seven. That could be a very simple reason. I'd rather not play a card that just dies to his claws, but... Eh. Nothing scares me! Except the mice. Ooh, the opponent actually had a rather grim hand. Of mostly sadness, which is why it took him so long to make plays. Double Maelstrom against the control deck is pretty tough. Actually not over yet. I, bring life. I could uh, stall out somehow, and he could draw really good cards like Azure Drake. It scares me a little bit. I've lost both my big AoE. Oh. Blizzard isn't really big AoE. I've lost my big AoE. I guess is the thing. That's a really good card, though. That should lock it up. Not good at draw. A little scary. I mean, on the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty good draw. Drawing Torch Firelands wins it. High chance of winning it, anyways, but I still haven't completely won yet. Always a little bit scary when you have like that chance of somehow not winning. In the potion. That one. Three, five, seven? It'd be pretty terrible to lose this game. That's a good card. He's been top decking well, but he did have a really bad opening hand. So, not like it, it kind of balances out. Blood. I wonder. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. How much? It only cost my soul. Yeah, that's pretty good. Guess I should have shuffled Reno. Oops. Shouldn't really matter. I mean, the spell has a really high chance of lethal, doesn't it? Or clearing the board. Which is arguably better than Reno. Really exciting 
being... Yeah, I, I always win from here. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! Spells are fun. So fun! Plus he has a really weird tag card. I guess Finley would work. Finley into heal or armor up the dream. I wasn't bluffing. For Doomhammer, for the Frost Wolves. I'd say at this position, I'm 80% to win. Although, given that I'm only getting three cards, put my chances of winning at 70%, which will uh, go up or down a lot depending on this result of Mulligan. My chances of winning this match, not this game, this match are probably like 60%. This isn't a very good hand. So, I haven't lost this game, but I'm assigning myself like about a 33% chance of winning this game based off this hand. Of course, uh, he plays Tunnel Trog and I roll spell damage totem. I mean, the only move I can make currently is roll the totem. Thinking about coin totem goal? Did I lighten? No, I should roll the totem. Oh, Jade Claws. That's an interesting start. Hmm. I think about why he would coin Jade Claws. Maybe South Sea Deckhand? He clearly had options there. I reckon you would rather Totem Golem. I play Maelstrom Portal here. I don't think so. Well, now I think so. Aye, aye. I think patches would be even more hilarious if it said after you summon a pirate, summon this minion from your deck. Because then I would summon patches if I summoned patches. I decided to use the Maelstrom portal there. I mean, I didn't have to. I could have used this, but I'm counting on using Spirit Claws for uh, two charges and three damage. I think it's an appropriate time to Maelstrom portal. Apropos. This is a really good line for me. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to fake me out here. But it would imply that he doesn't have a uh, Maelstrom portal if he had to think about. Spell damage to him. Thinking about that, he must have another weapon. Right? I don't think there's much benefit to hitting that totem golem here. be pretty OP if you could put two batches in one deck. Running a little low on stuff here. Being a little bit scary. Uh, 
actually kind of good reason to not attack with the claws here. Because of that. Yeah, I guess I'll hold this thing. I was just gonna hit it with my weapon, but that thing getting a plus two. Kind of important. Hellstrom portal is so hot right now. Four, six, nine, twelve, uh, eighteen. Probably should keep fighting for the board. If I get the spell damage to them, I would have gone face then. I really should have equipped the claws. Oh my, eh, yeah. Yep. Guess I missed two damage by not equipping claws. Slight reason not to equip claws because I might draw jade claws. Oh my goodness! At least I can kill that totem. Like for him, he's already equipped two jade claws, so it's easier for him to just equip the spirit claws. Definitely got an advantage since I have one extra card on him. Guess it didn't matter. Two legitimate lines there, I think. A face was pot potentially a place there. Uh, in which case, I think going spirit claws would have been better. Yeah, that's a card. Right, he's running thing from blows in his deck. Hmm. Yeah. Thought Maelstrom would be really good. He's been keeping in his hand? Tunnel track? That must have been this card. Oh, there are a lot of different paths to take. Looks like that one. That one worked out at the end. I think if I had done the extra two damage to him earlier, there would have been a moment where certain plays would have been Right differently too. Okay. Oh, screenshot. 